Hi, hello, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Renee, and welcome to day one of my new seven-day Pilates challenge. We're going to be doing a 20-minute Pilates workout today, so get out your mats, guys. Put on your cute active wear. We are all ready to go, and three, two, one. Starting this workout off with the Pilates horse kick. No, you don't need to be good at horse riding to do this move. We're just extending our right leg out and we're just hovering it straight up and then lowering it back down towards the mat and then raising back up again. We're going to be here for one minute on each side, guys. Inhaling as we extend upwards and we're exhaling as we lower back down towards the mat. Really try and focus on your breathing here. Showing that you have a neutral spine for these exercises is really important. Apparently I could not find mine this day because my neutral spine is nowhere to be seen in any of this footage. Oh, and controlled movements everyone, we really want to help activate our glutes with this exercise. We only have around 15 seconds left to go on this side before we switch over to our left side. Keep going guys. So proud of you all for taking the time out today to get this workout done. Just keep kicking and three, two, one. Now switching over to our left side, so we're extending our left leg all the way out. Inhaling as we extend our leg upwards and we're exhaling as we lower back down towards the mat. A reminder that you really don't want to be kicking all the way up. You want to keep the tension nice and high. We're just doing small movements here. We're just keeping that in line with our hips and then just raising up slightly to really help activate our glutes for this. We're 30 seconds through this exercise, 30 seconds left to go, guys. Also, don't know why I decided to do voiceovers for this. After getting two fillings at the dentist, I still can't fill half my face. In six hours since my appointment and my face is still numb, I'm pretty sure that's not normal. Nothing's stopping me from getting this seven-day challenge up on my channel for you all. Okay, guys, we've got 10 seconds left. Really give it your all. Just a few more seconds left to go. And here we go. Three, two. Next, we're doing some Pilates side knee raises, also known as fire hydrants with an extension. We're getting into a very similar position and here we go. Starting on all fours, ensuring that your hands are directly beneath your shoulders for this. Bending our left knee and extending outwards. And then once we get to the top, we're also kicking outwards to the side before then bringing back in towards the center. Again, we're going to be here for one minute on each side. We're inhaling as we kick outwards and we're exhaling as we move back in towards the middle. Maintain your control and ensure that your hips are aligned with your knees for this. Maintain the intensity throughout this exercise and ensure that your knees are not touching the ground. Rephrase that by saying your left knee should not be touching the mat. Your right knee definitely is for stability and support. We only have 15 seconds left to go on this side. Keep going, guys. You're doing an amazing job. Exercise not only helps with dem booty gains, it also helps improve stability and balance. And here we go. Three, two, one. Now repeating the same exercise all over again, just on our right side. So we're extending our right leg outwards to the side and kicking and then bringing it back in towards the center. See, I'm filming outside from now on, guys. I'm so excited to bring you some more high quality Pilates workouts. But there was a little bit of an issue where I was filming right here. I'm right on an edge and there's actually a bit of a drop just next to that patio. There's no steps there. So I was literally kicking on the edge. We're definitely going to be filming wall Pilates workouts indoors. But all of my mat Pilates will be outside from now on. Okay, guys, we only have... 15 seconds left to go on this side. Really give it your all. Look like I'm in deep Pilates concentration, but I was actually just praying to the good Lord that no snakes or spiders make an appearance during this workout. Okay, guys, a few seconds left to go. Here we go. And three, two, one. 10 seconds to stretch, rest, and recover before moving on to our next exercise in the same position, guys. Here we go. 
Now I'm going to be doing some Pilates rainbow taps. This exercise is going to help target your glutes as well as your inner thighs. I'm only doing 30 seconds on each side for this starting with our right side. Your right leg should be extended all the way out and we're just gently touching the mat with our toe as we lower down. Just hovering above the mat as we lower down and we're going to be here for around 10 more seconds guys. Keep up the good work. And we are now going to be switching sides. We're extending our left leg straight out and repeating this all over again. Inhaling as we lift our leg up and we're exhaling as we lower back down towards the other side. Only 15 seconds left to go for this exercise. So want to keep your gaze down towards the floor and your mat and to really ensure that you've got a nice neutral spine for this. Only a few seconds left to go on the clock. Really give it your all and here we go and three two one good job everyone very quick cat and cow pose stretch before then moving on to the pilates bird dog and here we go starting off on all fours with extending your left arm outwards and we're also extending our right leg outwards at the same time and then we're bringing our arm and knee in towards our chest before extending back out again. We're only going to be here for 30 seconds on each side. So we're inhaling as we extend out and we're exhaling as we move back in towards the center. A reminder that we want nice and slow and controlled movement. So we've now switched sides. So we're extending our right arm out and our right leg straight out before then bringing it back in towards the center and then extending back out again. And keep your abs engaged for this entire exercise. We're just slowly holding that pose as we extend out before bringing it back in. So we're inhaling as we extend out and we're exhaling as we come back in. A few seconds left to go. And here we go. And three, two, one. The rest of the workout, we're going to be lying on our back. I know guys, this is a lazy gal's dream. This is my kind of Pilates. I am excited and ready for the rest of the exercises. A few more seconds, just getting into place. Now getting into a tabletop position. I'm going to be doing a frog pose leg drop. And here we go. Three, two, one. Starting off in tabletop position, we're keeping our toes together. We're separating our knees at the top and then we're just alternating between lowering our toes down towards the mat before coming back up towards the top and then we're lowering both of our legs down at the same time. Inhale as we lower down and we exhale as we come back up. So have our hands behind our head for extra support and your head and neck should be raised up off the mat to keep that tension nice and high in your core. See how there's a slight gap between my back and the mat? That is what you don't want. You you want to ensure that your back is nice and flat against the mat. You can all start learning from my common Pilates mistakes. We only have 15 seconds left to go. Keep going everyone. I bet your abs and core are on fire right now but we're in the home stretch. A few seconds left and here we go. And three, two, one. Next up we're going to be doing some glute bridges with a hip abduction. So we're placing both of our feet together on the mat and three, two, one. Starting off with your hands by your side and we're laying our back flat against the mat and we're just gently raising our hips up off the mat and separating our knees while still keeping our feet together on the mat or lowering our hips downwards again. We're going to be inhaling as we extend upwards and we're exhaling as we move downwards. We're going to be here for 60 seconds in total. We only have around 30 seconds left to go for this so keep up the good work everyone. A fantastic exercise for your inner thighs. You could always make this a bit more challenging by using a resistant band but I didn't have access to it here today. Don't worry if you don't have one you'll still definitely be feeling the burn without it. Okay everyone we've only got around 10 seconds left to go. Be realistic and say I had no motivation when I filmed this workout but that's when discipline comes in guys. A few seconds left and three, two, one. Next up, we're going to be doing some heel touches for 30 seconds before then moving on to another ab variation. So we're still keeping our back flat against the mat, but your head and neck and shoulders are raised up off the mat. 
and we're just gently alternating between sides of touching our heels with our hands. This is really going to help target your obliques. We only have around 10 seconds left to go for this. Really give it your all here guys. Put in a lot of effort and we are now going to be moving on to a slow Pilates crunch. So we're slowing the pace down now. We've got our hands behind our head and neck here for support. Slowly raising our upper body up off the mat and holding that crunch position at the top before lowering back down towards the mat. A reminder that we want this move nice and slow and controlled. We're really targeting our upper abdominal muscles here. A few more seconds on the clock and three two one now going to be doing some single leg stretches so we're laying flat against the mat again we're bringing one of our knees in towards our chest and here we go guys Starting off by bringing your right knee in towards your chest while extending your left leg outwards with an alternating and switching sides. We're just holding that pose at the top for a few seconds before switching over. We're going to be alternating here for one minute in total. Your head, neck and shoulders should also be raised up off the mat. My toes pointed for this move to really help engage my core. Doing these voiceovers in my car and it is now night time and I just heard the most crazy lizard I've ever heard. It literally sounded like something out of Jurassic Park. But anyway, the show must go on, guys, because we've got more Pilates moves to do together. We've got 15 seconds left to go on the clock. Keep that tension and energy nice and high for this move. This is a self-love hug as we're bringing our knee in towards our chest. We're sort of just hugging our knee in. And here we go, guys. And three, two, one. In for another self-love hug. Now moving on to some Pilates double leg stretches. So we're extending both of our arms and hands up over our head whilst we're also extending both of our legs outwards. Inhaling as we extend outwards and we're exhaling as we move back into that hug pose in the center. We've got around 40 seconds left to go for this exercise, guys. I don't know why I thought it was a good idea to do voiceovers this late because I'm sitting in the car. I still have to attempt to get inside and goodness knows what huntsman or lizard is going to be waiting for me at that front door because the other week we had another massive huntsman just sitting out the front door. Say that moving to the tropics has been very character building for me. Someone that is literally scared of the smallest bug. Okay guys, we've only got 10 seconds left to go on the clock. I know your abs are sore and three, two, one. Now we're doing a bit more of a complicated pose. It's a glute bridge variation. So we're raising our hips up off the mat and here we go guys. Your head, neck and arms should all be resting on the mat as we have our glutes raised up off the mat. We've also got our right leg extended vertically straight up in the air. We're then lowering that leg down below our left knee before then extending it back up again. We're going to be here just for 30 seconds on each side and keep your toes pointed for this. We want to keep the tension nice and high. Now switching over to our left side. So we're extending our left leg straight into the air and then we're lowering it below our right knee before then raising it back up again. So we're inhaling as we extend upwards and we're exhaling as we lower behind the knee. We've only got 15 seconds left to go for this move. I know this move is definitely a bit more complicated, but I'm so proud of you all for getting this done. And here we go, guys. And three, two, one. Next up, we're going to be doing some single and double leg lifts. So I'll give you all a few seconds now just to catch your breath. We're going to be lying on our back for this exercise. Raising our head and neck up off the mat with your hands behind your head. Both of your legs should be vertically in the air. You're alternating sides here, extending our right leg down. Then we're extending our left leg down. And then we're extending both of our legs down at the same time for a double leg lift. A reminder that we're not touching the mat when we come down towards the ground. We're just hovering above the mat to keep the tension nice and high. Really help engage our core. We also want to keep our back flat against the mat. Inhaling as we 
lower our legs down and we're exhaling as we bring our legs back up into the center. We only have around 15 seconds left on the clock for this move. This is really gonna help activate and target your core muscles. Finding this exercise to be too challenging and you're not engaging your core, you can try putting your arms by your side and your head resting on the mat. Okay guys, that exercise is all done now. A few seconds now to catch your breath, stretch out before moving on to the next exercise. Here we go. Now doing a bicycle crunch variation. So we're doing 30 seconds on each side. We're extending our left leg straight out. You've got your hands behind your head. And we're inhaling as we extend outwards. And we're exhaling as we come back in towards the center. So as we come back in towards the middle, we're bringing our right elbow in towards our left knee. And then we're extending back outwards again and we're repeating this a few more seconds to go and we're now switching sides so we're extending our right leg straight out my toes are also pointed for this to keep the tension nice and high and we're also using our left foot firmly on the mat for support here so your left elbow is coming right up to your right knee and then we're extending straight out again. Inhaling as we extend out and exhaling as we come in. Inhaling, exhaling and three, two, one. I'm moving on to a heel lifted glute bridge. So getting into place now, we've got our back flat against the mat and three, two, one. Starting off by raising your heels up off the mat. We're putting all of our weight and pressure here on the balls of our feet. We've raised our hips and glutes up off the mat and we're just pulsing at the top, keeping that tension nice and high. We're going to be here for 30 seconds in total. Your arms should be by your side and your head and neck should also be resting on the mat. More seconds here, just keep pulsing, just keep pulsing. Next up, we're going to be doing another glute bridge variation. So we're now lowering our heels back down towards the mat. We've also widened our stance for this glute bridge exercise. Our feet are also on an outwards angle and we're just raising our hips and glutes up off the mat and then slowly lowering back down towards the mat. We're going to be repeating this for around the next 10 seconds. Keep going guys. Inside doing these voiceovers, I've just had my chocolate and I'm waiting for the kettle to boil so I can have a cup of tea, okay? We've finally finished that glute bridge series. Now we're Moving on to the next exercise, into the frog pose now, and three, two, one. Officially up to the second last exercise of this entire workout. As you can see, we're putting all of our weight here on our forearms, as well as our glutes. Your back and neck should be lifted up off the mat completely. And we're just extending both of our legs outwards. Move your heels should be together, but your toes and the balls of your feet should be separated at the top. And as we extend outwards, when we come back in your knees are going to be separated before then extending back out straight again we're going to be here for around the next 30 seconds we're inhaling as we extend outwards and exhaling as we move back in towards the center really try and engage your core here guys predominantly an abs focused move pushing our hands in towards the mat here to help stabilize our core we only have around 10 seconds left to go really give it your all guys and here we go three two one our last 10 second break time, we're going to be doing a roll up variation. Your feet should be flat against the mat for this. And here we go. Starting off with both of your arms stretched out above your head with your back flat against the mat. We're then raising and lifting our body all the way up into a seated position before then lowering back down. Inhaling as we come back up and then as we lower back down, we're exhaling. So we're just peeling our back up off the mat very slowly and controlled into that seated position before slowly lowering ourselves back down. Also attempt this exercise with both of your legs completely stretched out resting on the mat. But I thought we would save that for another workout. I'll start you guys off with this introductory 
roll-up series. 15 seconds left to go, guys. You're doing a great job. I'm so proud of you all for putting in the work today to complete day one of my challenge. It's the final countdown. And three, two, one. Yay, we finally did it. We finally finished another at-home workout. Good job, guys. 